Hello everyone, so I am back with another video and in this video I thought I'd do a little show and tell and introduce a new kit that my mom just came out with and do a little project at the end, something a little, you know, fun. And then after this video I'm going to be get, getting ready to release the journal series showing you how to create a journal from start to finish. So that's going to be coming soon after, um, well I think I'm going to start it after this video. If not, it's, you know, it's coming up in the next few days. Maybe like, well, if not the end of this week, it'll be the beginning of next week. So be on the lookout for that. Okay, so let's see. I got some goodies here that I just wanted to share with all of you. So, yes. Oh my gosh. Yes, we have to play with these. So after I get done showing you the other packages that I received, and um, two I received, uh, you know, as a gift. So I want to be sure to share those. But these, look at these. These are vintage stamps. So like this one says, Mac Canada Incorporated, Montreal. And then this one is in French. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cool? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am so excited. And then this one says charge. I'm going to have to get one of those stamp holders, maybe like what Tim Holtz has to uh, hold all of these. This one, I think this one's in French. I, I see uh, Nespa, but I can't make out what all of what it says there. So I'll be curious to see how these all look once they're inked up and I get to actually stamp them on something. So this one says paid in French and en anglais. En français et en, en et anglais. <laughs> uh, je parle français et très mauvais. <laughs> uh, J'ai Francais comprendre un peu. I know. That made absolutely no sense. Yeah, I should just give up trying to speak French. <laughs> okay, I got my coffee here. So yeah, those are going to be really cool to um, see how those all stamp. Uh, the, the stamp impressions that these all make. So, yeah, I think I'll be working with those after I get done showing you the other package packages that I received. Okay, so this one is from Maria. Maria. Ooh, oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> my husband is gonna he's gonna wonder the noises that I'm making. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's gonna be wondering what the crap I'm doing in here. But um yeah, look at oh my gosh. How cool. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's read this card here. So this says, oh, it's so pretty. Look at the pretty card. Dear Jennifer, oh, <laughs> this is Neri's friend, Maria in New Jersey. I hope you like your package. Just a little something extra to fill. Um out her order for you. Please stay safe in all this craziness. Peace and love, Maria. Oh, how nice. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's all I have to say. Wow. 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 Oh, so there's a little doily. Oh my gosh. Look at it. It's just packaged so, so pretty like. I love it. So 
so Neri, Neri is somebody that a follower of mine introduced me to. And she has just an amazing collection of trims. I mean, unbelievable uh, collection of trims. And I had been ordering these laces from her. And so I will be sure to give all of you her contact information so you can reach out to her if you're interested in getting any of the trims that she has. They're just beautiful. And she's really fair with the, uh, her pricing. But this was just a little added bonus gift. So thank you, uh, Neri and Maria. Thank you so much. I haven't even seen what's inside them. <laughs> I got so excited just from seeing the outside. Trying to get all these pins here. Don't want to get stabbed. And I think there's one more. There we go. Oh my gosh, this is just so pretty. And you know, this will go perfect because I don't have an extra soft uh, cover that my, my mom did, those kits, you know, those soft journal kits, and she did these beautiful covers. And so I have to make one, and this is going to be perfect for doing that. Look at, oh, there's still more pins. <laughs> okay. I think I got them all. Oh my gosh. Look at that runner. Isn't it just pretty, pretty, pretty? Look at that. Oh my God, I love it. I love it. Like I said, that is going to be perfect for doing the journal cover for the workshop. So for those of you who didn't get a kit, I am going to show you how to make the cover. So then we can all follow along in doing that workshop. It's going to be so much fun, that workshop is. So perfect timing. Oh my gosh, this is just perfect. Again, thank you so much, Neri and Maria. Thank you, thank you, thank you. These are beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And I love it because it, it truly has that vintage look to it. You know, like true, authentic, vintage lace. Which is what I'm always looking for. And then some of this. I love these patterns. In fact, I might scan some of these. I think I might scan some. And then I can share some of these with all of you. Oh God, I love this one. It's so pretty. I love the I love the pattern and the texture. These are just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh my God. Look at this one. They're all so pretty. I love every one of them. I'm gonna have to, uh... well, I was gonna say, I'm, I think I'm gonna have to, you know, my mom's gonna see this and she's gonna want some of these. I don't know. I don't, should I be greedy and keep them all for myself? <laughs> no. No, I'm not a greedy person. But I oh, love this one. I, I love this one. Look at how pretty. I have to scan some of these. I think I have to. That or I wouldn't ever want to use any of these because these are just, oh, the patterns are beautiful. Look at that. That was gorgeous. So yeah, again, I will um, leave Neri's email. That's the best way to reach, reach her is by her email address. I don't think she has an actual shop, but I think, you know, you can contact her by email and then you can reach her by Facebook or however, and she'll get in touch with you if you're interested in purchasing any of her trims. Look at this. I mean, every one is just, it's, they're all so pretty. And like, 
can you imagine making some snippets with bits and pieces of this lace? Major cool. I think that's what, you know, things like that have this sort of pattern and color with like this and the ruffles would make the coolest snippets. So maybe I'll make some of those too, but put a little twist on it. You guys know me. I have to always do something totally out of the box, something different. Or at least I try to. Oh, these are just cool. I Like I said, I really love how it has that vintage, authentic vintage lace look, you know. I became a little more familiar with uh, vintage lace patterns from all of the magazines from the 1890s you know, all those books that I showed you that I purchased. And so I'm becoming really familiar with <laughs> the patterns of vintage lace, like authentic vintage lace, like this one. Look at that. How cool. Isn't it pretty? She's so pretty. Oh, I'm gonna have just way too much fun with these. <laughs> I still have a whole box to open. I mean, this is just, this is just, this is the small package. <laughs> I, still, I still have a box. Oh gosh, it's like Christmas. They're all just gorgeous, gorgeous trims here. Just beautiful. Some eyelet stuff. Oh, love this. Love stuff like this too. And I told her I wanted some wider laces, so yeah, I mean, ask you shall receive, because these are nice and wide. And look at this one. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, and I love this one. Look at that. Oh, just gorgeous and then I got some ruffled stuff and again I think these just make great um, things to use in snippets and things like that these ruffled laces here so she gave me quite an assortment of those we got some blue pink yellow oh my gosh love see this stuff I just love this stuff, this embroidered or um, what, you know, if I was not trying to think of the word, I could think of it just fine. It's only when I do these videos, I don't know, I go brain dead. I, <laughs> what am I trying to think of? What are these called? Oh, come on, come on, come on. What are these called? I can hear you guys screaming over the camera. I can, like, I can seriously hear you guys. Um, appliques. <laughs> it came to me. Appliques. I love appliques. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Oh, look at this. This one I would have a hard time using because this one is just calling my name. I, I love this and I have not really seen trim like this before so yeah like I said uh, let me know if you guys want me to do scans of these I am more than happy to do some scans of them and you know definitely could do some really cool collage backgrounds with these laces very very pretty thank you so so much oh my gosh just way way more than what I ever expected and beautiful just beautiful so there's all of those and then I have this box that I got from Neri as well so let's see what's inside that box so it's I think it says Neridia's treasures that's the name of her shot
Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's just like, oh, doing a major happy dance here. <laughs> just, I love trim. I love trim. I can just see my husband. He's not anywhere near me, but I can just see him like rolling his eyes, listening to me, just go nuts over, over this lace. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Look how pretty. And it's so nice and wide. Oh goodness gracious. I am going to have so much fun playing with these, making covers. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. Look at that pattern. I just I just think those patterns are beautiful. Look how pretty. Oh, they're just I think they're some of the prettiest laces I've ever seen. And then this one. Probably should do it against the background where you can see it a little better. There, how about that? Instead of me holding it up. So you can really see the look at that beautiful pattern. Oh my goodness. And I mean there must be how many yards would you say that you know? Five yards. Look at that. Beautiful. It's just beautiful. Oh gosh. Every single one. I just drooling. Drooling. Oh. Love it. And you know, I love, I love to get lace like this. The reason why is you can have a white piece here or you can cut it into three different strips. You know, it just, you can do a lot of different things with this. Look at this pink. Look at that. Tell me that's not just beautiful, gorgeous. Look at the shade. Look at that shade of pink. Isn't that pretty? And it's got like a iridescent shimmer to it. It's just, oh, okay. So when I have to do fairy, my fairy books that I'll be doing, yep, yep, this'll be perfect. I love this too, kind of like that Venice lace. And then I got some crocheted lace. I love the crocheted lace. Look at that. So this, this will go really good with my new Jane's Memoirs collection because I used some, I think I used some sort of crocheted lace in the collage that's similar to this. So yeah, that'll go good. And by the way, you know how you are all waiting to get your hands on Jane's memoirs. I am too. I haven't even seen it yet. I'm, so, I'm still waiting to see it all printed out right there with the rest of you. <laughs> so I am just as excited. And I hope to have my shipment any day. I keep checking every day to see where my shipment is, but they must still be working on the order because they sent me the tracking information for the shipment of it, but I haven't received it yet, so, but I'm checking every day because I am just excited to see that collection in my hands, to actually be able to see it, all that hard work. That was a collection, I have to say, oh my, there were days I thought I was just going to give up on that collection because, oh, if you could have seen the stages, <laughs> the behind the scenes. Oh, in doing that collection, it just, it was tears at time, no joke. But I am so happy with the way that it turned out, and I couldn't, you know, couldn't be more pleased with it. Very happy. I think, I think all that hard work did pay off, and so I'm working on the next collection, and I, 
as with anything I do, I try to put, you know, my entire heart and soul into whatever project I do. I've always been that way. It doesn't even have to relate to art. It can be anything. I just always try to make sure it's as good, you know, the best work I can possibly do, regardless, regardless of what type of work it is. That's just my nature. Look at that one. I love that. That has a real, you know, kind of old vintage look to it as well. Love it. It's so different from what I usually see. And then this. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Look at there. Look at that. And I love, she puts these dryer sheets in and they smell. I said that last time with the lace and trims that I received from her, they smell so good. That smell is just, oh. It smells really good. And then I have kind of similar to what she sent me last time, just these uh, smaller pieces. I don't know if I'm going to take each and every single one of them out. This one, this one I really want to see here. Look at that. Love it, love it, love it. So pretty. And then I got some red stuff. This will probably come in handy dandy uh, for Christmas. Doing some Christmas stuff with. Oh, I can just see making these cute little, little type of ornaments. Little paper doll ornaments, maybe Christmas, Christmassy. You know, like you could do sugar plum fairies or something. Wouldn't that be cute? There's so much in here. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, seventh heaven. Boy, what a nice surprise. Okay. Another really pretty one. I love the pattern. So, yeah, these are major cool. Major cool. Oh wow. Look at this one. Look at this big huge piece. Oh, I can see this on my cover. Look at that. Look how pretty. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. Look at how pretty that. Now this, I'm going to have to get more of this. I'll have to see if she's got more. I love that. I love it. And then I have some beaded trim. Oh, this looks very pretty. Ooh, isn't that cool? Look at this. Isn't that cool? Oh my gosh. Okay, I want more of these. I'm going to have to get in touch with her and see if she's got more of those because those are major, major cool. I can see using these on the side of a book, you know, the spine of a book. Wouldn't that be pretty? Or even on the front cover of a book, you could have a pretty, like, frame of a Victorian lady and have this kind of like a little choker with, you know, the necklace coming down. I have all sorts of ideas going through my head on how I would use those. I love those. And some trim like that. more of this. These are always nice trims to just have on hand because they come in real handy. I asked for mainly uh, white and cream colors and then I did want a few black uh, pieces of black trim. This one's really pretty. Very pretty. Look at that. Oh, there's so much in here. Oh my goodness. And more appliques. These are wonderful. You can use those for a number of things. Same with these. Little snippets, little uh, embellishments, paper clips. Wow. And then there's some of those things like the red 
tutu type things in black. Tutu trim. <laughs> and, oh, got some little, uh, you know, these things. The, <laughs> you know, <laughs> the, the dingle thingy, the diggers. Um, I know the name. I just, like I said, if I if I try to think of it, I can't think of it. Anyway, got a whole bag of those. Those are always nice to have. What are those called? Oh, this is going to drive me nuts. Use lots of this trim. We're getting down to the bottom of the box here. Look at this. More appliques. Oh my gosh, there's so much here. All right, that is it right there so again um if you're interested you know you like these trims and everything that i showed you i will link neri's email address in the details below send her an email she's just a lovely lovely person to work with she's just a absolutely sweet hearted very kind person and uh, she she's just very generous to say the least <laughs> oh my gosh uh, so thank you so much Neri thank you this is way way more than I I imagined and the, they're just exquisite they're so pretty so thank you thank you so much all right now the kit I'm going to show you all my mom's latest kit that she came out with Okay, so here is the new kit that my mom came out with, and this is her winged elements kit. So, in this kit, we have some trim and pieces of fabric. So you'll get those and this would be a great kit too if you weren't able to get one of my mom's last kits this is another great kit to get for following along in the workshop you know if you're interested in doing that and you don't have a kit with you or you could put one together similar to like what I'm showing but my mom she, you know, for what she puts in her kits and for the price that she sells them at, it's, they're just really nice to have, um, just to have everything there for putting a journal together. So you'll have some six by six papers. A few of them are double sided there. Music sheet paper. book cover bull by the horns <laughs> and these are all different you know they do vary slightly you'll get a paper bag and then some of the lined papers from my winged elements digital collection and these are printed on nice parchment paper at least that one is she uses a nice, this is printed on 32 pound, it feels like the 32 pound presentation paper. It's really nice. You know, it's more substantial than regular copy paper. So you'll get quite a few sheets here. And this, this is one of my earlier kits. You know, sometimes I look back at some of my older kits and I think, oh, I need to change that. Which reminds me, for those of you who purchased embroidered collage, I will be sending out an update to you because I know it's done some of my envelopes. They were a little off in the alignment, so I did redo those and I will be sending all of you an update so if you're wondering what it is that's that's what it is it was just on the envelopes 
So you get some envelopes, tags, some postcards, journal cards. Like I said, lots of prints here. And more of the papers. So you'll get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. You'll get sixteen prints. And then she's got some craft papers. So you'll get one, two, three sheets of craft paper. And then some different lined papers, graph paper. Ledger paper. And then some plate illustrations. These are wonderful to have. Oh, they're nice, very nice too. Look at those. The butterflies. Some birds. I love plate illustrations. And there's some more on the back. And then some of her vanilla coffee stained papers. Oh, they're so nice. So she must have done these on the 32 pound paper because again, it's a little heavier than you know what standard cop, uh, copy paper is. I always have to smell it, it smells so good. It's got that uh, major like cough, uh, vanilla. It's got a beautiful vanilla scent to it. So you'll get one, two, three, four, five, six sheets of coffee stained papers. And you'll get one, two, three, four plate illustrations that are double sided. So there's actually you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different plate illustrations there. All right, and then, like I said, she puts a lot in her kits. Then she included one of her ephemera packs. So, She has these cabinet cards that she made. She made these by hand. Look at those. Aren't those nice? I mean, you can't even hardly tell that it's not an actual cabinet card. I mean, they're just, look at that. They look so real. Maybe it is a real cabinet card. I can't even tell. <laughs> I know she made some, but anyway, you get a cabinet card some paper doilies, and then you'll get different like uh, game pieces, playing cards. Little journal card, just an assortment of cards there. And then we have some tags. We got boy, she put quite a few tags in here as well. So you're going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten tags. Another journal card and some library cards, index cards. 
journal cards, receipts. It's got some receipts thrown in there. One, two, three, four. Some airmail envelopes. Another index card and another receipt. I love these tags. So there's some layaway tags and the alteration tags. Another big journal card there. Playing card. That's kind of cool. Some recipe cards. Five. So it's nice. The nice thing about these kits is really you can break these up into a couple. So you could do a recipe journal, cookbook if you wanted. You could, you know, save these for that. You could break the kit up and use it for a number of journals. Some lined paper, evidence cards like these um, evidence cards and the evidence tags. That would make the coolest Sherlock Holmes um, type journal. Some more lined papers. And then a time card. And then two jumbo tags. Look at just, yeah, lots there. Lots. Lots of stuff. And it just goes on and on and on. And then, you know, all of this with it. So like I said, she really puts a lot into her kit. And then, of course, she always throws in a little bag filled with bling. Just a little thank you gift that she likes to throw in there. So, I will have these listed on the site, um, available for sale. And she's really good about getting these shipped out right away. So, if you do ever purchase any of her kits, I think most of the time she gets them shipped out within one to three business days. So they do ship out really quick. And then, you know, hopefully you can get one in time to follow along with the journal workshop that I will be doing. So if you have any questions regarding these kits, you know, feel free to shoot me an email. And yeah, my mom really sends her thanks and wants me to say hi before I forget. <laughs> I haven't got to see her in, I said this in my last video, I haven't got to see her for like three months now. It's driving me crazy because we usually get together and we'll plan things and we work on things. We just, you know, well, I just enjoy being around my mom, but we do have lots of fun and, you know, ideas. We like to throw ideas at one another. So anyway, yeah, there is her latest kit. So now... I'm going to go back to those stamps, and I thought it'd be kind of fun to just kind of go old school. And I have these papers. I just thought I would have fun making a bunch of papers for journals, kind of get a head start on some things that I would probably want to incorporate into the journals that, you know, the journal workshop that I'll be doing. So just from the dollar store, I have this manuscript tablet. And I thought I would try to find different ways of using these papers. One thing I thought of that would be kind of neat is to create kind of a ledger look paper because it does have the lines going down and I thought I could just put some lines going across and then you have what would look like ledger paper, right? <laughs> yes, I thought that was pretty brilliant. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but no, that was one idea I had. And then just kind of distress some, stamp some, use those vintage stamps that I have, you know, kind of play with those. And then I even got out my fountain pen. And okay, now trust me, I am not any sort of letter artist or, you know, hand lettering type artist at all. But I think my penmanship, I mean, I guess penmanship these days is becoming a form of art because from what I keep hearing as kids these days aren't being taught how to do cursive. So our handwriting is becoming like a, a form of art. 
which is kind of crazy when you think about it. But I thought that I would just kind of take and play with this fountain pen. I found this on Amazon. I'll put the link below. They did give a 30% off next purchase promo code. So I will put that. I'll just put it in the, the um, description below. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you can only use the promo code once, but I, I won't be getting another one, and I figure some of you might as well, you know, get some good use out of it. So, yeah. Well, actually, I'll just show it. I'll just show it. So the 30% off. It looks like the promo code is SAVEMAGIC30. SAVEMAGIC30. And I'll put the link you know, for this down below, but I have used this once, and the reason I got this one is because the reviews on it were really good, and it comes with all these different nibs here, and it came with a bottle of ink, and when I was doing this, I was working on my Harry Potter journal, so, yeah, and then it has this cool little stand here. And then one of the ladies at the retreat, because she knew I was working on Harry Potter, she found this dragon charm. Like, is that not totally perfect for a Harry Potter journal? Yeah. So, all right, let's go ahead, let's get started. So I'm going to use the feather pen, the ink, and then I'm going to start with my lined papers here. What you're first going to do is take your paper and then you're going to want to take a ruler and if you have a red pen or a red marker we're going to take and make some red lines going down the paper like what you would see in a ledger and then I'm going to take some of those vintage stamps that I got this is one that I received earlier and I'm just going to make a collage with some of those vintage stamps that I received and just kind of place them in a way you know I guess these will be more like receipt slash ledgers. <laughs> it's kind of what I have in mind. Uh, but I wanted to just kind of play with these new stamps and yeah. So that's all I'm doing here is just kind of figuring out where I might want to put some of those stamps and then take some of my distress oxides and age the paper a little bit with that splatter stencil and of course distress some of those edges just to you know kind of stain the paper a little bit and you could take these papers and coffee stain them tea stain them prior to doing all of this as well and if you don't have you know like the vintage stamps I'm using you could use any sort of office stamps that you might have you know or whatever stamps you might have in your little arsenal uh, you could do something very similar to what I'm doing a few of the Tim Holtz stamp sets that I highly recommend is the Correspondence. I use that one all the time. So if you're not sure, like maybe you don't have too many stamps and you're not sure what to start with, that is one I highly recommend just because you can use it in so many different things. And then I do use a few other of his stamp sets later on with some other papers that I will be showing you. Uh, here in a little bit so and I do have most of them in stock I ordered more just in case you all wanted to order some after seeing this video and that would allow me to be able to get your order shipped out pretty quickly okay so this is that Tim Holtz correspondence stamp set that you see me using here and one thing I love about it is it has all of these number stamps in it that work perfectly for this project and then I just used another one of those vintage stamps that I showed you earlier. And now I'm going to take my feather pen, I'm dipping it in some ink. And the reason I wanted to use my feather pen and ink is because I felt that it would give it more of a aged look with using actual ink from this pen. And I'm just writing whatever, <laughs> you know, like right here, I think I'm saying make a ledger of papers out of papers I used in preschool, so much fun. <laughs> But I just wanted to show you, you know, I'm just kind of experimenting here, and so I'm just writing whatever. But uh, as you can see, the pen itself is very easy to work with, and it seems like the ink flows out of the pen nicely. Like a little bit of the ink goes quite a ways before you have to dip it again, which 
I really like and I love the look of it. I love the, the inked look on the page. And it does, like I said, it flows out of the nib of the pen really nicely. So yeah, I like this um, <laughs> feather pen. Now I'm writing blah, 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 ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I, I'm just trying to fill up the page with some of my own handwriting, you know, kind of give it that some entries being made and to show what you could do with this page. You know, if you do journal making and you want to journal your page, how that would look. Now to give my page more of a actual ledger look, I'm taking that ledger script stamp and kind of going over my handwriting. And I really like the effect of it because my handwriting, you know, it's not the greatest, but I just felt like it gave it more of an actual ledger look. And now I'm going to take some of this beeswax polish and just apply a thin coat on the back to give it an aged look. This is a really simple project and it was really fun because I got a you know, stamp with all of those vintage stamps and then just being able to make some journal entries and yeah, I just, I love how it looks and who would have thought, you know, all those papers that we used to use in preschool would ever become something to read when it to look like an old receipt or like an old ledger type receipt. So now I'm going to do another one, kind of starting off the same way, just doing a few of my red lines, one at the top, two on the side, and one at the bottom. I think I decided to do another one at the top because my line was really crooked or something. But as you can see, you don't have to be too perfect with your lines because once you start doing the stamping and everything, you can't really notice it as much. And I, when I did this, I did it pretty quickly. I wasn't trying to be overly perfectly straight with my lines. And now I'm going to use this dapper stamp set again from Tim Holtz. And I loved this stamp set because as you're going to see, it had this header here, which just reminds me so much of what you'd see in an old receipt. And it says Merchant Taylor. So I took his fragments stamp set. And again, um, I do have a few of these in stock, but I have more coming and I thought with all those trims that I received, I could take little snippets from those pieces that I received, uh, you know, pieces of lace, and attach them to this ledger page. And then I'll have this whole kind of, you know, it kind of ties in with the merchant clothing lace sort of theme. And yeah, that's kind of my idea there anyway. And then I thought for the journal entry, you know, I could just tie it all together and put, you know, that I received the lace from Neri and Maria and just kind of make this, you know, kind of a theme type ledger page. These laces again, oh gosh, so, so pretty. This would be great if you have any leftover pieces of trim, you know, this would be great for doing a page like this. So I'm just trying to cut everything down just a little bit because I wanna make sure that my stamped image still shows through really nicely. And then I'm just gonna continue with collaging a little more, stenciling, kind of what you saw me do with the first page. And you know, you could even take, I was thinking of using other stencils, like a doily stencil. You could do that. If you don't have some of these stamps, you could use like a, if you have any uh, stencils of doilies or lace or anything like that, you could do that. That actually probably would have been really pretty to do a lace stencil on this. But... I was just trying to think of kind of a quick project. <laughs> I just really wanted to play with those stamps. That was the main thing. You know, I wanted to see how they 
they all looked when they were, you know, inked up and you could actually stamp a page with them. There was one of the stamps that didn't end up working. The I noticed the rubber sections were kind of worn away, so one of the stamps didn't work, but the other five, as you can see, worked great. And I love this charge one and the one that says paid. Love those. The colors of ink that I'm using, I'm using archival inks in plum and then oh, what's I think it was teal aquamarine it's aquamarine and then I used a grayish colored one I'll have to uh, I'll have to remember to put those into the description below but I love using my archival inks so here I'm gonna put that little entry that I received the laces from Neri and Maria I was thinking as I was writing this stuff you know, if, if they don't end up getting put in a journal and I kind of just set them to the side and hundred years later, somebody comes across these <laughs> wondering what they might think that they are. Well, actually a hundred years, they would be, they would be antique by then, but I, I'm just sitting here trying to picture somebody trying to read my writing and trying to make sense of some of the entries like the one before where I put blah 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 <laughs> oh yeah I don't know it'd be kind of funny if you could like go forward in time and kind of like just see the person who finds these and look at be able to see the expression on their face as they're looking at these and yeah I think it'd be kind of comical but that's where my mind goes when I sit here and create stuff like that, yep. Think about a hundred years from now, yeah. <laughs> I actually just try to get through the day. <laughs> okay, so this stamp that I'm using here, this is from the, I think the Dapper stamp set as well. And then I think I'm getting to where I'm liking the looks of it. I um again I loved the number stamps from the correspondent stamp set. That's what you see me using there. Those just came in perfect for this project. And I use that stamp set for a lot of different things. My altered envelopes. Oh boy. Um journal pages just to grab something quick to you know, when you stamp a page, it just, as you can see, it adds so much to a page and it's so easy to do. I love to stamp. So now again, I'm just taking some of the beeswax and applying it to the back. I did an even lighter coat on this one. I found out that I liked the look of it more when I used less of the beeswax. So... I thought it just looked so perfectly aged. Very easy to do. And I got the beeswax from Amazon. I'll put the link down below. But I really, really um, have been loving using that as well. It gives it a really, it gives the paper a really nice texture. And now I'm just stapling on my little pieces of lace and there we go. I just, I love the look of it. Like I said, it's so simple, but you know, if you include those in your journals, it's just something so easy and quick to do. And they're fun. They're, they're just super fun to do. So you can just get out your stamps one day, sit in front of the TV, grab whatever it is you like to drink, and you can just relax. There's not a lot of thought that you have to put into it. And sometimes I like those types of projects where you just don't have to overly think things. You just can play and have fun and yeah, this is one of those projects. So I'm just doing my lines. I'll put, I think these pens that I'm using, I think I got those on Amazon as well. And again, I'll put the links down below. So if you're interested, uh, you know, you'll be able to easily find them or maybe you already have red and blue pens, but I liked these. These are actual like brush pens and 
they worked perfectly for this project and they didn't bleed. That was the other thing. Um, I was trying to use an ink that wouldn't bleed when I started using the distress oxides and applying different layers over these pen marks. So that's something to keep in mind when you're doing this. And again, I'm just going pretty quick with my lines. I'm not trying to make them perfectly straight. I'm not using a T ruler or anything like that. Because like I said, after you start stamping on it, you really can't tell. So if your lines are off a little bit, it's, you know, it's not that noticeable. Now I'm going to take one of the other stamps from that dapper stamp set from Tim Holtz. And this time I thought I would go with kind of a, a paintbrush, paint sort of themed ledger. And I end up using a stamp set from Prima that is no longer available, but because I thought some of you might want to recreate some of these pages, I do have some stamps coming. I will list them and I am going to make them, I'm going to do a pre-order because some of them are stamps I wouldn't normally carry and so I don't want to order stamps and then be sitting on inventory. That's another reason I do pre-orders because it's really expensive to carry inventory, especially if you're not selling it. So like these paint brushes, this is one of the stamps I'm talking about that I can no longer get, but I did find a wonderful stamp through, um, oh, I can't think of the name of the company, but again, I will, I will have all the, the um, information down below in the description. So I found a beautiful brush set stamp that you could do with this. And then I have some smaller Prima stamps coming. They're like little different uh, receipt looking sort of stamps and, and script stamps. And they're fairly reasonable. They're just smaller stamps, but they would work really good for this project and you know if you're on a budget those stamps would be perfect to get but again I want to do a pre-order I know I, I hate having to have you guys wait for your orders I would think it probably take me about two weeks to get them in but because of the coronavirus things have been kind of out of whack you know beyond my control and with a few shipments that I've done they've been delayed so I'm hoping now that things are picking back up and some businesses are reopening that I'll get my shipments faster again and yeah I do apologize for you know some of the orders that have taken a while to ship out but it was beyond my control <laughs> and trust me I was just like there was nights I was not sleeping too well because it was all I could think about I I just I just don't like it you know, having orders sitting and not being able to fill them and it drives me absolutely crazy. <laughs> this is the least that I can do is these videos and tutorials and newsletters with freebies and just kind of my way of thanking all of you for helping me and supporting me in being able to continue to do this. It just, yeah, it means the world and so I'm going to really, you know, I work so hard. I work so very hard day and night. You know, it's almost 11 p.m. I start as soon as I wake up, I start working. And, and every day I'm doing this, even on the weekends. And I do s save a little time for myself on Sundays. You know, I have church that I like to, um, well, I, most of the time I watch it online because right now, you know, we can't, they're not open, but I do have my church time and then I try to do something with my husband and kind of keep it to family time. But other than that, Monday through Saturday, I am just go, 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 you know, as much as I can to be there for all of you and uh, just continue to help inspire and motivate and create and all of that. So, yeah. I'm very grateful to, to all of you and I can't, again, I just can't thank you enough for all the support. It really, really means everything. <laughs> it means the survival of my 
my business. Okay, so here I'm just again just doing some journal entries, uh, kind of just writing whatever I can think of, things that I might want to do in the future. Like there I have, oh yeah, my coloring project for Arteza of this mermaid that's coming up. And I wanted to try to, you know, kind of keep it all paint art related, kind of with the theme on my page there. And that uh, I had that parchment paper that I was using to, it's kind of like a paint palette because I found that works really good as a paint palette. And the paint was all hardened on it and I thought it would work good for this page, just kind of keep it, or uh, cutting a little piece of that that parchment with all that paint on it, it, you know, it ends up kind of adding just that special touch to my page there. And now I'm just lightly going over with that script stamp. Boy, this, this will be another stamp that I use a lot, that Ledger script stamp by Tim Holtz. Love it. I absolutely love it. And the um, vintage stamps, by the way, I found a lot of them. I either found them on eBay and I found some on Etsy. And it's kind of, first let me say, they're very hard to find. Now when you do find them, they tend to be a little pricey. But every once in a while, you might find some that aren't too badly priced. So if you do come across them, you know, uh, grab them. <laughs> That's all I have to say because they are really hard to get. I mean, they're hard to find. I'm I'm looking constantly on eBay and Etsy, scouring, you know, through all these listings trying to find more of them. But when I do find a few here and there, I definitely like to grab them. So just heat setting my page and I didn't have to do it for very long. Just kind of ran the heat gun over it, maybe a minute, if that, and I'm going to staple my little palette, paint palette thing of parchment there. I actually had to rescue it from the garbage. <laughs> I had to scour through the garbage to find it because I, you know, it just popped in my head. I was going to take some paint and just plop some on some parchment paper and then it just occurred to me like I have quite a bit of it in the garbage from when I was doing my painting and yeah. So now I'm going to pull out the Professor 2 stamp set and take that luggage stamp and I'm going to take and stamp that onto some parchment paper because I love the texture of parchment paper. And then I'm just going to use some of my decorative edged scissors. It's the one that kind of makes the paper look torn and just cut that out and staple it to my ledger page. And then I think the last thing that I end up doing is um, taking one of the stamps and just stamping a number at the top right corner of each page because if you notice in a ledger which I will show you here it has that number at the top right and I couldn't find the number set that I was looking for I do have a really cool one it's vintage and it gives almost the same type set that you would find in ledgers I don't know what I did with it it's in its special little place you know those special places that I'm talking about I mean they're really special because <laughs> they're so special you can't remember you can't remember where that special place is I have lots of those special places it's just, that's what I'm saying they're special they're so special <laughs> okay so now I'm going to show you how would they look inside my vintage ledger and you know really I don't think they look like they ever originally came from the lined paper that we all used in preschool and kindergarten. I mean, who would really know? I showed them to my husband. He really thought they were old receipts. So I thought, if I can trick my husband, yeah, these are good. 
These are really good. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just going to put those numbers at the top and then call them done. I hope you all enjoyed this project. Please continue to leave me the comments. Oh, I so love them. It's what I look forward to after doing these videos. It makes it worth doing. All the hard work is reading your comments. I just, I love them. And uh, if you haven't subscribed and you want to see more videos like this, you know, it would be great if you subscribed to my channel. And thank you all so very much for watching and hopefully I'll catch you back for the uh, journal workshop. I plan on doing that either the end of this week or the beginning of next week, so stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching.